So um, a nice hidden feature of uh, Windows Phone, well, Nokia's Lumia devices is the diagnostic tool. Uh, you can access this by hash hash 634 hash and it loads up the diagnostic tool for your Lumia devices. So you can use this to run all sorts of diagnostic tests on your phone. You can actually, for instance, um, set up your data uh, settings in here. You can actually put in your MMS settings in here. So, for instance, you unlock the phone, you try and use it with another SIM card, just do the hash s634 hash and put in manually put in your MMS settings to be able to send MMS messages. You can put in your browser settings for the APN access point network. You can put in your settings in here, username. You know, you can get this from your uh, service provider, at and T-Mobile, whatever carrier you're using. So just put it in here, or you can actually Google it. You can get all these settings to manually put these in. Uh, there's a whole bunch of tests you can run on your limit device. You can click on run all tests and you're just going to simultaneously run every single test on there. So this is the LCD test to make sure all the colors and the pixels are in good working condition. Once you're done, just say pass. It goes to the next test. You start it. The phone vibrates. This is the test of vibration. Once it's done, say pass. It stops. Go to the next one. Now, this is really interesting because there are two tests to run for lights. Um, you have a LED keypad control and a camera flash. To test the camera flash, just click on this and you can see the flash turns on and it goes off. Now, the LED keypad control, this is weird because there is no Windows, no Kia Windows phone that has a keypad. So I have come to the conclusion that Nokia is coming out with a probably an E6 looking phone where a keypad is not going to be your regular one two three four five six seven eight nine zero keypad is probably going to be a quick quick cool a Q W E R T Y whatever they call it kind of like a form factor like a BlackBerry phone because LED keypad control there is no keypad on any of the Lumi devices out now so this just proves Nokia is working on a keypad phone so. We could see it at the Mobile World Conference in th three weeks' time, so uh, stay sharp. We'll see what happens. So all the tests you can run, you can test your headsets, earpiece, loudspeakers. Say loudspeakers start. So I actually don't know how this test works, but I'm going to assume it passed. So. Next is your camera. This test, if you can take actually take pictures, take a picture. You can accept. Then it asks you, did you take a picture? Yes. Pass. So this you can use this test to test every other physical button on your phone. You can press the power button. Shows it passed. Test the arrow that passed. So after you test all the buttons these icons kind of disappear so you can do search oh. so you can touch so you can do the back test wow so um there's a whole bunch of tests you can run on your phone uh there's a proximity you can test the proximity sensor. This was a huge problem on the Nokia N8. So as you can see, it says not detected. Once you put your hand over it, there it shows the proximity sensor does work. So there's a whole bunch of tests you can run. You have your power source. This shows the power source is coming from the battery right now. If I plug it in, it would change to an AC adapter. Other tests you can run, uh, let's see. You have your battery status right here. Uh, it's another cause for concern. So this gives you 
you have a 30% charge battery life on your phone, you have full capacity, you have discharge it at this rate, so this number would fluctuate depending on what you're doing on your phone. So this is your remaining charge capacity, you can see it's really low. So your battery is uh, going down real fast. So um, what else? You can test your, let's see. Another nice feature of the diagnostic tool is the detailed battery info right here. So as you can see, more information about your battery in your phone. This is the overview of voltage, state of charge, 30%, average current, and this is a more detailed view. So you have your full charge capacity would be 1345 milliamps. Uh, full available would be 1411. Um, so what's remaining is just 394, so that's really low, so I'm low on battery right now. And also presents you with a nice graph of how your battery is being discharged. So you have your voltage rear and you have your current. So, you know, I'm not really technical, I don't know how these things work, but someone who's troubleshooting your phone, pretty much using all these diagnostic tools, should be able to fix whatever problem. You know, in the future, right now, most Lumi devices are still under warranty. Uh, Lumi just came out um, last year in November. So, but after a year, when you're out of warranty, this is a nice place to start. Once you start having problems with your phone, you can run any of these tests um, on your phone. If they do fail, at least you know when you're going to a service center what the problem is, and you know you have more detailed information of what's going on with your phone. So this is the diagnostic tool. Once again, once you dial in the hash hash 634 hash, it automatically installs this application on your phone. So you don't need to dial um, that number every time you need to go to the tool. Once you do it once, just go to your menu right here and you can see it comes up right here. You can pin it to your start menu, although there's no need to because it's not an application you would use every day. So that is it for the diagnostic tool from Nokia.